mining will increase to witness salmon runs. No way! <laughs> As if Pat Rim could do better than God. That's BS! Jeff Nessie says coal is the new asbestos. Better sell now. A glass is no expense to find mental health with dirty coal. Human health, not coal bearing wealth. 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 There are people, like you said, for whom the concern is the fish. And I think particularly with Chuindo, we're going to have a very good story to tell about that. Uh, there are, however, I think a big group in that negative that are against coal because of the global warming issues and the carbon emissions issues. And that's the one issue that we can't really do anything about other than uh, sell our coal before uh, the environment becomes so negative towards that that it's not no longer an economic resource, like asbestos. Now is not a good time to invest in asbestos, but there was a time when asbestos was a good, yeah, a good resource to own, and we don't want to get in that situation with coal, where we had a lot of coal when coal was marketable, and we end up 20, 25 years down the road, and coal is no longer. Uh, I think we'll, I don't see we'll ever, I don't think we'll ever see coal go away as an energy source. We'll see it evolve, and we'll see, we'll see different ways to, of harvesting it and different ways of, uh, of uh, converting it to energy. We're watching it evolve, but right now there's clearly, right now there's a demand for, coal, for our coal uh, pretty much worldwide. And that would be a shame not to capitalize on that opportunity. We went over to the land office and met with Pat Grimm. And I have to say, I was really impressed with the uh, level of effort and knowledge that our lessee has accumulated about uh, really understanding the fishery that's involved and looking at what measures can be taken to mitigate those impacts. I mean, these guys are serious. Uh, mines have either been reclaimed uh, in many cases in ways that uh, the locals feel is an enhancement over what the original uh, environmental condition was. Uh, and uh, I think that that's a really effective strategy. You know, you know, I think we have a really good story to tell. I mean, we're fortunate in this sense that uh, the technology used to mine coal is different than what's used to mine gold and uh, other minerals, so uh, it's less hazardous just inherently. The other thing that is so obvious on the surface that you forget it is that it, clearly coal mining, any kind of mining like that, surface mining, is going to disrupt the, the existing uh, landscape. But the other obvious thing is that they can put the landscape back to uh, in a number of uses when they're done. They're solving problems that even that nature left behind. And there's a number of them, examples in Alaska where fish habitat, and specifically salmon habitat, had been created from whole cloth, from the streams put in where there were no streams before, uh, and created very productive salmon habitat. It's not like it's never been done before. In fact, it's been done for decades and very productively and very successfully. As long as you mine to a plan and you've got it, and you, you anticipate it in advance. Um, uh, and that's exactly the way Packram's approaching it. It was real clear in the presentation that Jeff and I had done the research, they know how to do it, they're going to end up producing, they're going to end up on the, on the two in the site, they'll end up with twice as much habitat for salmon on that site than there is today when they're finished.